Now, <laughs> folks, during my monologue, I always go grocery shopping for the big news staples. Your, mm. your Donald Trump gallon of milk, your Mueller Report rotisserie chicken. <laughs> but sometimes I like to hit the discount aisle and collect the dented cans and loose grapes of news. That is my segment. Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile. Brings joy to a nation. Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile. Meanwhile, <laughs> Avengers Endgame just beat the $2.12 billion box office record set by Titanic. Wow. 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 That is the worst thing ever to happen to the Titanic. <laughs> this puts Endgame's record within spitting distance of the all-time record holder, James Cameron's other mega blockbuster, Avatar. But... I am sure Avatar sequels will blow the Avengers out of the water as soon as they bring back all of our favorite characters, like, uh... <laughs> the... <laughs> Chester, and, uh... And who can forget the, uh, the bad guy? I wanna... <laughs> so good. Meanwhile, according to researchers at Oxford, on Facebook, the dead will eventually outnumber the living, <laughs> but they're still going to invite you to their improv show. <laughs> Click maybe. <laughs> Meanwhile, this week is the Vatican's 14th annual exorcist conference, <laughs> the latest in their increasingly popular annual exorcism conventions. Yes, folks, it's time for X-Fest 19, <laughs> where you can meet exorcism superstars like Cardinal Ernest Simone, who has said he performs four or five exorcisms by phone every single day from his native Albania. <laughs> by phone? Don't put too much effort into it, Cardinal. <laughs> if you really want to crank through some demons, just do a textorcism. That's devil emoji, middle finger emoji. 